So today we'll be talking about the Tacoma Narrows Bridge Collapse, which, due to the intensity of the failure, had impacted engineering designs for long-span bridges for the many years to come. Background information pertaining to the bridge. It was opened to the public on July 1st, 1940. It connects Tacoma, Washington to the Kitsap Peninsula. It was commissioned by Washington Toll Booth Authority and designed by Leon Moziv. The bridge was nicknamed the Galloping Gertie. The bridge collapsed on November 7th, 1940, only four months after opening. There were no human casualties, except for Tubby, a black male cocker spaniel that was trapped in a car that fell into the river. Due to engineering failures caused by aeroelastic flutter, wind speeds of 64 kilometers per hour that day caused it to fall down. For the failure of the bridge, we have found out that the frequency of the wind had matched the natural frequency of the bridge. Due to this, the bridge began to sway back and forth very violently, and the swaying motion had weakened the bridge cables and supports. Regarding the bridge failure, the concrete materials had broken apart and fallen into the river below. Using the EGAD approach, E, ethical issues, 72.2A, negligence, engineers did not account for windy conditions. 72.2C, failure to act to correct or report a situation that the practitioner believes may endanger the safety or welfare of the public. Engineers did not shut down the bridge, even though the bridge was susceptible to torsional movement from windy conditions. G, generate possible courses of action. Number one. Delay opening a bridge to perform more tests. Number two. Public service announcement regarding danger of bridge. Number three. Decommission bridge and build new bridge elsewhere. And number four. Do nothing. A, analyze the best course of action. Number one, delay opening of bridge to perform more tests. The pros, chief engineers will find solution to fixing bridge. The cons, deadline for bridge is not met and more money is spent on testing. Number two, public service announcement regarding danger of bridge. Pros, warns public about the danger of using such bridge. Cons, bad reputation on Leon Mosef, the lead engineer and Washington Toll Bridge Authority. In addition, number three, decommission bridge and build new bridge elsewhere. Pros, other location may not suffer as much from severe windy conditions. Cons, it's very expensive to implement and will take additional time of planning and design. Number four, do nothing. Pro, no extra time and money is spent. Cons, public safety is compromised. D, decide. Number one, delay opening of bridge to perform more tests. Now the positive aspects outweigh the negative aspects. So here, it's obvious that the best possible course of action is for delaying the opening of the bridge as this abides by the Professional Engineers Act. Doing this also meets the gold standard of PEO's Code of Ethics. The legal issues pertaining to this case is Leonard Coatsworth can sue the Washington Toll Bridge Authority for the loss of animal life, which was Tubby, and for the loss of personal possessions. The Washington Toll Bridge Authority can sue Mr. Moazif, who was the lead engineer, for negligence. Furthermore, Mr. Coatsworth was reimbursed for the personal content. He was paid $6,200 US dollars with respect to inflation for the contents of his car, including Tubby, and he was paid $7,600 US dollars with respect to inflation for the actual car. Mr. Coatsworth won his case due to negligence on the part of the contractor and engineer because the safety of the public is paramount and should be the main objective of an engineer's work. If the Washington Toll Bridge Authority were to sue Mr. Moisif for negligence, Clark Eldridge, the original lead engineer, pointed the public finger at Mr. Moisif for unethical performance on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge design. The construction workers noticed the potential for failure very early on in the construction phase, around May 1940, due to the swaying motion of the bridge in windy conditions. The Washington Toll Bridge Authority would most likely win the case as Mr. Moisef had acted unethically in the design and construction of the bridge. These are the references that we have used for this presentation. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again